Hey folks, um, I'm just having a quick hour away from computer, um, doing my work, and I'm getting my onions in. Now, I grow, last few years I've grown my onions from seed, and I had a bit of a nightmare this year. Oh, basically all my onions just died off, I don't know what happened with the first lot. Um, so, I got some more seed, and these are the second lot, and I pop me big onions on into these half pint plastic containers some people say that you can't use clear well i like them because you can see the roots um so all i do for my big onions these are like a large spanish onion um, like i had last year is i have a stick that i put down every foot and all i do i'll come around here is i just use a bulb planter so i've done all them and then once i've done i just go it's not easy with one i just go in between and i just go in between them you can see that just push down little twist there's your plug into a bucket so i tend to do my rows that are a foot apart first and then literally all you do is pop them out you know nice little thing that's it in bob's your grandma done it really is easy with a bulb planter you just that's it so that's how i do my onions i've got me that's it me spanish me large spanish onions in there and my red baron are going in here now i had a disaster again i pricked out four trays i always do a lot more red baron because we like red onions i'm sorry if there's a bit of wind so for my small onions i just use these little cups but you can see the roots are coming out of bottom you use the same bulb planter you just don't push it down as deep um so yeah i had a bit of a nightmare i've pricked out four trays and they were looking fine and then i went in and two of them they're just gone dead i can't remember whether it was a different compost because i was doing a lot of potting on um so it could have been different compost so i'm in a bit of turmoil really because we do use a lot of red onions and there's nowhere near enough there so if you remember i'll just walk up here i've got my cauliflowers in and they're nice and spaced out i have got these red barren onions that i'm doing for spring onions now what i am contemplating doing is i'll just come down a bit closer pulling i'm thinking of pulling every other bunch in both the rows and picking out the biggest seedling onions um, it shouldn't be a problem it should be fine i'll dunk them in water pull them apart and just dip them in uh, so what i'll do is i'll do them in rows a foot apart in there and then and i'm going to do the rows if you look on my beds i've just just put saw cuts for one foot dividers um for some reason i did it on this one i don't know why uh, but i'll do it so i'll put my rows in a foot apart and then a foot, a foot apart rows with the onion six inches apart and then i'll see how i get on with them and then i'll know how many of them up there that i need to pull out so what i'll do is i'll knock off now i'll get everything in and then i'll come back and show you all right cheers folks see you in a bit then so that's all me big spanish ones in done soil tickled over and all me red baron sorry about the wind um not my personal wind the, the wind um so i just had to pull out i think you can tell which of the, the the little ones that have been filled with um i pulled out three bunches from the red barren spring onions if you like um so that's them all done i've just acquired a, an extra water but so i've just set up as a dunking tank for down this end i filled it up so right folks just a very quick one on my onions um stay safe well look after yourself and be nice to each other 
lovely isn't it okie doke ta ta for now